Biostrap family, our team has been working around the clock and across time zones to get this latest release out to you, version 3.2. We are so excited to tell you about the new changes and improvements that come with this update. In our ongoing commitment to provide you with clinical grade data, we've made a big change to the SBO2 algorithm for improved accuracy. Our data science team has calibrated our SBO2 to be comparable to other FDA approved devices on the market. This means you might notice a shift in your SBO2 causing more variation than before. Please do not be concerned, but understand this is a more accurate representation of your SBO2 and a better snapshot of your overall health. Capturing SBO2 from your wrist is a challenge, but we are confident that your Biostrap is now more accurate than ever. For more information on SBO2, go to biostrap.com, scroll to learn more at the bottom, and click oxygen saturation. Feature-wise in version 3.2, we released new measurement exercise units. Now, users can specify how an exercise is measured, whether that's duration, distance, or reps. For example, you can note if you hold a plank for 45 seconds or if you perform a farmer's carry for 50 meters. Now, to changes and improvements. We made some major upgrades to the overall performance in the app, especially on the heart rate and heart rate variability day view detail pages. We also made improvements to the activity score, sleep process messaging, distance calculations using GPS, and better explanations for workout routine goals. There are some improvements for Meditation Plus too. Now, Bioshop provides 25 meditation music tracks. This way, we don't need to rely on a third-party service for music during meditation. We squashed a few bugs in this release as well. Some users were experiencing a dashboard caching issue, which has been resolved. We also fixed the discrepancy of heart rate zones between the activity detail page and the activity recording page. That's all for version 3.2. Please reach out to us through the support section of the app with any questions or feedback.